hello guys welcome back in this video we will be discussing about the joint probability distribution okay so let us take one example and try to understand what all things we have to concentrate so that we'll get an idea about the joint probability distribution okay so here is the question find the joint probability distribution of two random variables which is x and y so as we know that joint probability distribution means it will be considered for what two random variables now here it is x and y so the probability distribution table is given joint probability distribution table is given we need to find e of x e of y and marginal distribution and e of x y then covariance of x y okay now the thing is that we have the joint distribu probability distribution the first thing you can do is that you can do finish of the second part of the question that is marginal distribution so i'll try to draw the marginal distribution table okay now here you need to remember one thing see x and y both are there x values will be 195 now what is marginal distribution it is nothing but we can say the sum of the x and so i'll just write it as what x as well as p of x that's it and y and p of y here x what is the value that means you are dividing the joint joint probability distribution table you are dividing into two categories one is x and one is y that is something about marginal distribution in other words we can see okay so marginal distribution table we need to write x and p of x now what is x here x values are nothing but this okay 195 x 195 so i'll just write it off like 1 and 5 correct now what will be the probability of this 195 that you have to find out the thing is that now x and y is in what this column so what you have to do you have to add add all these terms so that you will get p of x or the corresponding terms suppose here one is there so you have to add this row in order to get to p of one you have to add this row in order to get p of five so when i add this so what i'll get one by eight plus one by four plus one by eight the answer will be 1 by 2 okay now next for 5 I have to add 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 8 again the same thing that will be half that is something but 1 by 2 okay so this is for what X now for Y Y is in what this direction that is in what column a row correct X values were in column so we need to add the rows now the y values in is in column a row so we need to add what this columns that is the thing so here p of x now we have to add this part in order to get what p of y there is a difference simple thing x values here so add this all thing y values here add this now p of minus 4 minus 4 2 7 so for minus 4 add this to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 it will be 3 by 8 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 again 3 by 8 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 will be 1 by 4 so i have got the marginal distribution table for x as well as for y this is nothing but marginal distribution table now moving for moving further let us go for the first part that is e of x and e of y e of x that means what e x that means expectation okay so we need to find what expectation now how to find the expectation that is the question here summation of x as well as into p of x okay x into p of x now here x is given and p of x correct summation of that in 
you can denote this as mu x also okay so expectation of x is we can denote it as mu also mu x also so we need to find the summation of x into p of x okay now how to do that x value into corresponding p x value that's it so x value is 1 into 1 by 2 add 5 into 1 by 2 so what will be the answer 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 that is nothing but 6 by 2 so 6 by 2 will not, is nothing but 3 so we got the value of e of x now moving further for e of y e of y again the same formula but it changes into what y into p of y so y minus 4 into corresponding probability plus 2 into 3 by 8 plus 7 into 1 by 4 now adding all this together you will get answer as 1 okay now the next thing is that we need to find what e of x y expectation of what both the case correct both the case now this formula is given as summation of both x and y multiplied with probability of x y okay that is the thing now how to do that simple thing you can observe in the table in the question itself now here x y see x is value is there y so what you have to do 1 into minus 4 corresponding join probability of that that is p of x y is 1 by 8 so simple thing 1 into minus 4 into 1 by 8 plus then again you take 1 itself 1 into 2 corresponding join probability is 1 by 4 so it will be 1 into 2 into 1 by 4 plus 1 into 7 into 1 into 7 into what to 1 by 8 plus again what all things are left then 5 will take 5 so 5 into 1 5 into minus 4 into 1 uh, this value correct 5 into minus 4 into this 1 by 4 again 5 into 2 into 1 by 8 5 plus 5 into 7 into 1 by 8 corresponding like that you have to do okay so 5 into minus 4 into 1 by 4 plus 2 into 5 or 5 into 2 into 1 by 8 plus 5 into 7 into 1 by 8 so this will be better by seeing the table itself you can just calculate to e of xy so after adding all these terms i will get the answer as 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 will be the answer now moving on to the last part so i'll just do it here the d part so it is we have to calculate the co co means co variance of x y we have to calculate that is given by e of x y okay e of x y minus e of x into e of y okay so we have already have the value of e of x y that is something but 3 by 2 correct 3 by 2 minus e of x is 3 into e of y is 1 so we can get the answer 3 by 2 minus 3 it is minus 3 by 2 will be the answer so let us just quickly revise what are the things we have calculated so in joint probability distribution the random variables are given as x and y here so if the probability distribution table is given first we are go, uh, going to like we found out the marginal distribution table so it's basically dividing the x y pro joint probability into x as well as into y like we did before like a random variable x and taking random variable y so x and y we have to take separately x values are given in the column so therefore you have to add the sum some marginal distribution means summation summation of this row 
if it is column values are given in column you have to add the rows so that you will get what the p of x value now the y is in what row so you have to add the columns in order to get what p of y so we got the marginal distribution table from this we can calculate e of x e of x means it means the expectation so it is nothing but summation of x into p of x so x value into p of x plus this value into this okay so it is also denoted as mu x and even e of y is denoted as mu y okay mu y so we have to just calculate both of this e of x y formula is summation of x y into p of x y so from the directly from the given joint distribution table we can calculate take one value if suppose from x i am taking one so one into minus four into joint probability of this two that is another one this then one into two into this plus one into seven into this then again take five five into minus four into this 5 into 2 into this 5 into 7 into this add all these terms you will get the answer as 3 by 2 now moving further calculating the last part of the question that is covariance of x y we have to calculate that is given as e of x y minus e of x into e of y so we already have the values just you have to substitute that and we found out the answer